my soccer universe. Well, final video and let's talk about what happened in the Premier League last weekend. I know this will post right after the Champions League and I think I need to make another v uh, v video a little bit more on the Corona thing um, that I already talked about in the Serie A video right before that one. So, yeah. But let's go through the Premier League. Um, I actually saw only one game. I saw highlights from most of the Saturday matches. So we can run through Liverpool, Bournemouth. Bournemouth took a 1-0 lead, uh, a goal that should have been chalked off, to be honest, uh, through Callum Wilson, because there was a foul in the build-up. But then Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane, uh, with two goals, could turn the game around before the half. There was a big save by uh, Milner on the line. I think it was save of the season, I would say. But Liverpool also had more chances and ran away as winners. Arsenal with a very lackluster showing, uh, more reminiscent of what they showed before, Arteta took charge. West Ham was the better team in that one, but Lacazette, after an Özil assist, gets the winner. Kind of undeserved. Crystal Palace uh, gets another win uh, against Watford, the Liverpool beater. So uh, that's kind of a surprising result. The goal by Jordan Ayew, uh, who I heard, and I also get a feeling, he has this occasional spark where he says okay let's show everyone that I'm a Premier League player and other than that not showing all too much. Wolves Brighton bitter result for Wolves a nil nil Sheffield United uh, one nil over Norwich City I think was also I mean um, it was an even game let's put it that way but Sheffield United gets another win uh, the goal through sharp in the 36th uh, Southampton, after the great start, I, I don't see good results from them. They lose at home to Newcastle uh, by late goal by Saint Maxima. Uh, Southampton also had to play uh, with 10 men only in the 28th. I think this was uh, a card that was um, first a yellow and then they looked it up on VR and gave a straight red card. And what can I say about Spurs? Another rather disappointing result. They were 1-0 down at Burnley through Wood and a Dele Alli penalty in the second half gives them the draw, but uh, Spurs not looking good. I did not see anything of Chelsea Everton. Um, I just saw it was pure domination uh, heard by uh, Chelsea and Everton really was not showing much. Uh, the goals were scored by uh, Mount, Pedro, Villan and Giroud, uh, the last two, um, 51st and 54th, so all, both work, uh, in both halves the goals came in quick succession. And then the Manchester derby, I saw that game and I want to say that Manchester City had actually after five minutes, so a pretty brilliant start and uh, were playing as you would expect. Of course, like almost like with Barcelona, a little much forward movement. and. After minute 25 or so, I thought that Manchester United had figured it out. And especially Bruno Fernandes, um, pulling the strings a little bit, they actually managed to hold City at bay and be very dangerous on a counter-attack. Uh, the 1-0 came after a free kick, Bruno Fernandes over a lot of uh, United players and Martial in the 30th just had to put it into the net. Um, no, had to put it on the goal and uh, Ederson let it slide through. through. And this you, was clearly his uh, mistake. Um, and at that moment you could already ask yourself, hmm, is City really taking this all that seriously? By, by the way, I was really puzzled by the inscription on the city shirts maybe many and i had them too but i didn't see it same city same passion uh if this was city only it doesn't make much sense you basically you equate yourself to manchester united uh isn't your whole purpose to be better i it, it didn't make much sense to me to be honest uh anyway in the second half i expect a city to do much I did not see City at all doing anything. It actually, Manchester United looked comfortable the whole time and actually was a little bit more dangerous than a counter, -counter attack. And just when you thought it is 1 0 uh, for Manchester United, uh, Ederson with his second mistake, I mean, he wants to play the fast pass out, 
completely mistimes and McTominay can get in and puts it into the net 2-0 for Manchester United I think fully deserved I was actually impressed by Manchester United and yeah Lusk although as you will see in the next video the game will be played behind closed doors which doesn't help uh, this will be a tough game I think Manchester United is getting somewhere I actually saw also quite some not all, all of it, I saw it a little bit after the 2-0 of Leicester City, Aston Villa. Uh, starting around the 30th minute, Barnes, after assist by all Brighton, can put it really nicely into the empty net. Uh, Vardy from a penalty, then another Vardy, and again another Barnes goal. Give Leicester City a comfortable 4-0 uh, win over Aston Villa. Where, yeah, Aston Villa with maroon shorts. I don't know. I don't know, I understand, because Leicester's playing it right, you need to get Roman Maroon shirts, but uh, it made sense there, but I have to say, it looked weird to me. If, uh, if we look now at the table, uh, Liverpool, two wins away, and that might be only two losses, and I didn't say it in my What to Watch video on Wednesday, uh, Manchester City is playing against Arsenal. Uh, if they lose that game, and then lose a game, um, are they playing Burnley? The Liverpool could already be champions without having played... Uh, Otherwise, Liverpool needs two wins, so uh, it is more or less a done deal as of now. Uh, Leicester City now has 53 um, points, is right up behind. Che uh, is still five clear of Chelsea, and Manchester United in fifth now. Again, fifth might be enough for the Champ Champions League. Wolves took a beating Sheffield United and uh, keeps up there, and Spurs is dropping and dropping fast. Spurs is really a sorry story at the moment. Uh, can Arsenal get in there? We have to see. Uh, also Burnley, Crystal Palace are sniffing a little bit at European spots. Let's see it. Everton, unfortunately, I think the Angelotti effect is slightly wearing off, although they play better than before. Uh, Newcastle and Southampton should not be bothered by relegation, but, you know, they still need a few points. And then Brighton, West Ham, Watford, Bournemouth, Aston Villa. Those are the ones fighting for relegation. I think Norwich, unfortunately, is a certainty. And then let's go to the Netherlands to look at uh, another patient. Ajax can win again. And they better had one because I'd said to beat Den Haag for Neil Ajax. Uh, gets a 3-1 at Herrenveen. Uh, Feyenoord beats Willem Dwe. 2-0 uh, and PSV beats Groningen. So that gives us the table. Not much change because all every, everyone won. Ajax still level on points with AZ. And then uh, Feyenoord 6 points behind. Could get into that race which is kind of amazing, uh, knowing where they were. And also PSV, I think, is not entirely out, out of it. And you also see that's kind of a tight battle for European spots. Well, that's it, what I wanted to talk about Northern Europe uh, in this video. Yes, it's a shorter one. But to be honest, uh, you will see next video, I am a uh, guest. <laughs> and a little bit deflated with all the corona craziness going, going around. But this deserves its own video. Uh, anyway, uh, fill me in what you thought about the Premier League weekend. Um, Last weekend, whether you agree with my assessment, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this uh, video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.